What's going on everyone, it's here again, here for you, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and a walkthrough of one of the new DLC maps that we got here with the Apocalypse DLC. This map is called Dig, we're set in the Afghan desert, and ladies and gentlemen, I already know this map, so I feel as though it's unfair, but I already know this map, this map would be Courtyard from Call of Duty World War, it's actually a rehash of the classic World of War map Courtyard. And uh, Courtyard, personally for me, wasn't exactly one of my favorite maps in World of War, but I think the reason they selected it was it was the second smallest, if not the smallest, map in World of War, which I believe played a giant factor in actually deciding whether or not this map was going to be rehashed here in the Black Ops 2. So we're doing a walkthrough of this map here. Every DLC, I like to do walkthroughs of all the new maps, kind of like a live first impressions for you guys. And we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to stop here, and we're going to look at the map. It's actually a rather small map, and if you use Dexterity, I thought about this as soon as I see they're bring this map back. If you use Dexterity, Domination can be pretty hectic. So let's say you spawn here on the A side, and you want to get to the C side. That's okay, because if you have Dexterity, you climb up, and you climb up, and then you're right there on the B flag already. But look at that, it took, what, three or four seconds? Bam, you're across the map, you're on the uh, C flag there. Chances are they're going to have a cat by then, but using this middle area right here is one great way to get across the map. But, in my experience with World of War, the fighting doesn't really happen in towards B. It happens out here on the perimeters uh, on this side, and to a lesser extent on the perimeters over here on this side. Uh, for the most part, though, all the fighting went over here, where I'm pointing at in World of War. We're going to we're gonna examine that. We're going to look at how the map flows here. So we're set in the Afghan desert, and ooh, nice little tent. I like it. It's essentially the exact same map. I think they may have changed things. They usually change things like uh, when they took Firing Range from Black Ops 1 and turned that in the studio, there were small cosmetic changes that kind of like threw people off. And I think I see one right now. You used to be able to head poke right here and take out people as they were coming around that corner. There was a little hole in the wall, such just like this one right here. It was also a hole in the wall right there. But apparently we're not allowed to use that anymore. You can still climb over it apparently. But that's not there. So little cosmetic changes like that that may make, may or may not make a big difference in the map. And I can already tell right now this is looking goofy. This is... Oh yeah, that's way too goofy. No way, they ruined it. Okay, so... Alright. So if you're playing Search and Destroy on this map, the bomb sites is... One bomb is right here. And the other bomb is right inside there. That right here, right down here is A. And right over here is the B bomb if you're playing Search and Destroy. What I would like to do in Search and Destroy a lot of times is I take the sniper rifle out. As soon as I spawn in, I turn around, I run up here, and I ADS with my sniper. You can't do it. That wall's too big. You'd have to be able to jump up and uh, come up here. Because what you want to do is the uh, uh, attacking team will spawn over there. And they'll run, try and run through that building right there to get the B. And you snipe them before they can do it. That's one of the spawn snipes of the game. And uh, apparently they did something to combat that, which uh, now I guess you can't really blame them for trying to combat snipers as they have flooded Black Ops 2. But uh, we're going to come over here in towards the middle area here. If you look at the mini-map, there are two circular areas here in the middle. And uh, these provide uh, lots of gunfights, actually. Lots and lots of gunfights happen within these little trenches right here as people try and make their way towards the B flag. Now, me, myself, I wasn't much of a domination player much in uh, World of War. But I did play a lot of war, and the war flag right here in the middle, it was very hectic. I know for a fact that, you know, B-Domination is going to be just as hectic while you're in there. We're going to make our way over here now. Uh, now we're back on the A side. I'm trying to walk around, like, give you guys, like, kind of a feel for where everything's at within the map. Like, you, I keep stopping to show you guys the mini-map so you guys can see where it is I'm at. But uh, over here is where a lot of the action happens, in World of War anyway. So I figured I'd want to walk through here and make sure we get a detailed look at this. So we're going to come in through here. Like I said, B-Bomb, if you're playing Search and Destroy, is in there. Right here is an area where a lot of people like to hide, be it Search and Destroy, be it Team Deathmatch, or anything like that. People like to hide in here. It's something they like to do. And we're going to come inside. And they ruined the tree! Okay, so that tree was actually right there. It was in the exact same spot as it was in World of War. What you could do, you can climb up here, and then you used to be able to climb up this wall before they made it like three feet taller than it should be. And you'd be able to hide inside the tree, like kind of like sit inside of it, kind of make like yourself camouflaged in with the tree. They kind of ruined that up. But, yeah, I guess it, in the bushes here, you're supposed to be a lot thicker. You used to be able to camp in these here bushes. Man, they changed the map around a lot in terms of the cosmetic changes. They really did. Uh, right here is where the B-bomb would be in Search and Destroy. And I wonder if they can 
Nope, they got rid of that. Used to be able to jump up here and use that as a line of sight. Boo, but we got ourselves a new head poke right here, so I guess that's going to be good. You can also climb over it. Ooh, wait, you got... Do they really have to put a barrier here? Really? Is it really that game-breaking to be able to jump up there? That is just silliness. That is silliness and a half. The round ended here. I usually like to do these videos where we're doing the walkthroughs of the map. I tend to do it in Domination, just because Domination is probably the most played game mode for a lot of people, with the exception of like Team Deathmatch. But if you're playing Team Deathmatch, then I, I typically think of you as more of a newer player, because a lot of people, like after they first like start getting into the Call of Duty series, they go to Team Deathmatch and Free For All, but once they start getting into it more, they kind of evolve past that, and they start going towards like Domination and Headquarters or... Uh, hard point in Black Ops 2, whatever game mode. Uh, typically, people lean towards objective gameplays. That's why I like to show Domination here. But uh, this head poke right here is pretty good. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty fancy. Honestly, I don't even remember a head poke being there, to be perfectly honest, in World at War. So that might have been one of those changes they did. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yep, you can still climb up along, along the sides here. Can you get inside here? Oh, come on. That'd be so cool. You can't get inside that bush either? Oh, come on! They're just taking all the fun out of the map, man. I do so many hiding spots. We used to play like hide and seek and stuff like that in private matches on World of War. So I knew a lot of the pri a lot of the hiding spots. But I feel as though I've shown you just about everything there is to see for this map. Like I said, though, it's a remake of the Call of Duty for or Call of Duty World of War map uh, courtyard, which was uh, eh, apparently a fan favorite. But it was a pretty good map, and uh, they did a pretty good job of like kind of reskinning it. The map itself in World of War was set in Japan, and there was like the Japanese mountains around us, and there were uh, little Japanese castles off in the distance and stuff. They've kind of recaptured that. Look, you got that old-looking shrine up there. Wow. I guess the reason they call this dig is because this is like an old, I don't know, ancient civilization's ruins or something like that, and we're excavating around it. And now we're going to come in here with our RPGs and snipe rifles and kill each other next to it. That's what we're going to be doing, but I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the walkthrough. And let me know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this was a good rehash? I, I think it's pretty good. I, of course, I'm yet to play it in the multiplayer because when I do these walkthroughs, I do them live as my first impressions of the map. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to play pretty similar to how it plays in you know World of War because, you know, it is Courtyard. And how different can Courtyard really, really play? Oh, wait, there is one spot I haven't showed you yet. I never showed you guys the underground section. It's not as big and fancy as you think it's going to be, but uh, this is the underground section. This is where some people like to come hide and camp for some reason. But yeah, they decided to add this little underground section right there. And that doesn't really serve a purpose for anything necessarily, but uh, it's there. It is there. Keep that in mind. It's there. But uh, you also got this top way up here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks, that's how I roll. I got one.